goodwill messages to this great uh, occasion of the 38th annual Unity Memorial Lecture. I hope the honor of the institution to call on the Soviet General of the Federation, our own Soviet Tao Adenian, fellow elect for the institution. Well, To save our time, I want to crave your indulgence for me to adopt a well-established protocol. It is my joy and pleasure to deliver this short goodwill message at this wonderful annual gathering of no triple personality at this 38th annual Lumity Memorial Lecture. Today's lecture topic could not have come at a better time, which is quite very apt, at a time when the world is facing some challenges on multiple fronts, tribal, political, religion, terrorism, and so on. Considering the topic of today's lecture, promoting the culture of peace and tolerance, it is indeed that this is what we need to really move forward, because it is only in the environment of peace that we can make progress. And at the beginning of this uh, meeting, of this uh, lecture series. I really enjoy what the president said. He said in the beginning he was talking peace. During his, uh, his time he was talking peace. And today, at this lecture, we've only listened to nothing but also the talk, talk of peace. It is very imperative for us to realize that we all have to seek peace, even when we still have to prepare for war. But the, our ultimate desire is to get peace. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish all of us the very best in our endeavor. And I say long life for the family, long life the institution, and long life the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, let me quickly bring to the podium the Registrar of our Soviet Council of Nigeria, Master KK, fellow elect of our great institution. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, the second. Uh, I would like to seek your indulgence to stand on the existing protocol, which has already been established. Uh, today is a very important day in the history of this institution. Uh, that we are celebrating one of our own, one of the greatest, and uh, we have representation of family members. Uh, importantly, I think, we are here not only to listen to the lectures, but also to imbibe the quality, the leadership, the patriotism, and the aspirations of late. Olimide. We have been having this lecture year in, year out. We have to go back to our environments, to our offices, and ask ourselves, how, how have we copied the good things that this man is remembered for? And when we leave our offices, when we leave the environment, after 40 years, 50 years, who will remember us? After two years, what will we remember with? These, I think, are very crucial questions that each of us, when we live here, we must go back to our environment, our office, and ask ourselves. They say, change begin with me. This topic is very important and very apt, particularly for this administration, NIS, and the incoming administration. We have fought wars for close to 10 years, or let's say five to six years. But at the end of the day, we realize that the war in the court, the war with the guns, the wars with arrows, 
is not the correct war. The war we should fight is to fight our selfishness, is to fight our individualism, and is to fight within our mind on how do we control our best desires. That is the real war. And that is the one that will give you peace. That is the one that will give us peace. I think there were some few blind spots that we should have looked at in this lecture that was delivered. It was delivered excellently well by a person who knows how and what. But we have larger problems in the country today because there is no clear distinction, like I always say, between those on the upper deck and those in the lower deck. The only thing is the question of opportunity. Those of us, when we were young, we see and we complain this and that, this and that, this and that. And today, most of us, we are there who have changed nothing. In fact, we became worse than them. I want to see an example of this problem that happened recently, just last month, of this uh, looting that we have had. For goodness sake, I ask myself, what is the difference between the senator, between the governor, between the president, etc., etc., who is looting the treasury, and those, the masses, who are breaking into shops, who are killing, maiming, and burning, and looting, even politics. I think we need to have a change of national reorientation. And uh, this lecture has given us the basis to do so. And we're all professions here. We have to use our profession to see how we can bring that change in ourselves and in our profession, and by that we translate it to the country. Mr. President, and the past president, and uh, all members present, I thank you very much, and I wish you the best. Thank you. Quickly, please let me call on the chairman of the academia, or people in academics, Professor Lazarus Ojigi. I don't know whether to say that. Don't let me call it Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I wish to acknowledge and recognize the already established protocol. On behalf of NASDAQ, National Association of Surveying and Informatic Lecturers, wish to congratulate the chairman, the president and chairman of council of Nigeria Institution of Surveyors on the 38th annual lecture in honor of Olumide. And uh, when I read his, uh, his autobiography, and I discovered that he had all his training in surveying in Nigeria. So we are proudly saying that all Nigerian institutions offering surveying and geoinformatics guarantees everyone that wants to study surveying quality. And that quality, the way Olumide had it, and passed it on. The same way that he trained was where we had our last AGM. And Oyo is standing since 1908 to now, breeding, bringing up greater giants that will take surveying to greater heights. So we want to appeal that if we must solve the problem of leadership, Followership is more crucial. 
And we need to build the followership quality of human beings, putting them in the right place, giving them the right instruction, so that when we are no more here, those that we are building, those that are followers today, will become the leaders of tomorrow. I think about two weeks ago, I was making presentations somewhere, and I gave the topic was difficulty of leadership. But what is more difficult is followership. So it's becoming, in our own days, it's becoming more difficult to be a follower than a leader because it is an inverted situation now. So on behalf of Nashville, we want to congratulate all of us and we pray that when you are living here and going to your home, God will grant you journey mercy to your home. And I want to specifically just mention what our emeritus professor, the summary he gave, he did a proper assessment of the guest lecturer. Uh, the, the elder brother is somebody we know very well. The elder brother was a member of the 2014 conference, the CONFA. And the speech he gave, is also a public speaker. The speech he gave is still in the honor of record that is being read on radio or TV from time to time. Elder brother of Miriam. So they are gifted. And that message, I want to please that the lecture she gave should be put in an audio, a video, because if you pick the paper, you will not get the detail, because she paraphrased so many things as she presented. A message for us, as was captioned by our president, former president and emeritus professor, Fajen Broko. So let's put in a video, and then we have it in our secretariat, then the youth, those that are coming behind us, we look at this, have this message, and then become better for real. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, sir. I have the honor of the Mr. President to call on our past president and the chairman of the board of fellows, Sir, your chief, Anthony Ashiofo. Welcome, sir. You have consistently attended this lecture and shown very good concern and respect for your Patrick. And we thank you very much for being here on the 38th annual lecture. On behalf of the body of fellows of the Nigerian Institution of Surveyors, which our champion was number one, we want to appreciate the successful organization of the 38th annual lecture series. The lecturer gave us some very big food for thought. Particularly, peace. There is no amount of money that can be paid to have peace. Some of us who were very fortunate and unfortunate to be in the civil war for three days can testify that nobody loves war. But, like she said, if you have to fight war to have peace, fight war and get peace. In the same way, why do you have to fight war to get peace if peace can be cut in life? we have today in surveying. NIS, SOCON, SOGO, all of them are working in tandem and everything is working very well and we are progressing. <laughs> it should be that way. The body of fellow enjoys this peaceful existence of our professional practices. And I pray that if we continue like that, we just finished our annual meeting in Enugu last week, and I can happily inform all of you that because of the peace that we're enjoying in our profession today, attendance was marvelous, and everybody that attended was happy. 
smiling and going home, and everybody got home safely too. So please, the lecture was on time, because even my upbringing, when you say you are Ashofu, they will ask you, oh, Ashofu, they know your character already. Today, it's not like that. Somebody can come and tell you that show, maybe from another extract of a show, and his behavior will not be for peace. But a show of my own extract is peace. We need to grow in peace so that we can progress. And that is why this lecture came at an optimal time. And I'm very happy with this too. Delicious need to eat and added value to the My other and his uh, precise you know, uh, conclusion or uh, the way he looked at the lecture as a whole and touched at the high points. And the way the president too married the pertinent points to make conclusion in the circumstances and situations we find ourselves today in Nigeria and in our profession. So I want to thank all of you on behalf of the body of fellows and wish that all our professional surveyors can provide peace than either going to court. I don't mean people should be shortcutted or punished unnecessarily, but that people should see peace or peace resolution as a way of trying to progress in whatever we do, both in your homes, with your wife and children, and both in your, and your husbands, too, because we have these people here, and even in your businesses and different partnerships, we find ourselves that requires peaceful coexistence so that we can be got progress. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.